All right, so you're struggling because you're not doing what you're truly passionate about. You feel overwhelmed. You feel like your life is not going anywhere. It's incredibly hard to get traction. You don't know what you should be doing. You know you're distracted, but you don't even know from what. You're lacking clarity. It's feeling discouraging and it's feeling overwhelming. Let me ask, have you felt that way about what you should be doing, about your creative gift, about your creative call in your life? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you a method to be able to get the clarity you need and to be able to focus your energy and do what you're truly passionate about. If this is your first time, I just wanna welcome you. This channel is all about helping people with video marketing, content strategy, and creative entrepreneurship. All right, so if you're anything like me, you have this deep sense of meaning that is inside of you, that you were created for a specific reason in this earth, and that your life has meaning to be able to bring value in this earth. You know that you weren't created just to wander this earth and do nothing. You have gifts, you have talents, and you have a vision inside of your heart to be able to see something extremely big happen. But how do you get there? I think that's one of the biggest questions and frustrations that we all feel who can identify with what I just said. We have this thing in our heart. We know we were made for more. We know we were made to do something, but we just don't understand how we get there. Listen, this is something that I've racked my brain over countless hours trying to figure out how do I get this? I flip flop from back and forth from creating business opportunities, but then falling out of love with them because it's just money. And I'm not after just money. I'm after purpose and destiny and fulfilling my potential in this earth. And so therefore, then I gravitate to that, but those don't really make money. And so sometimes it can be incredibly difficult to know where I should be spending my time. Should I be spending my time just building a business, just getting profit, or should I spend my time on the things that I'm truly passionate about, helping people, connecting with people, and doing things that usually do not make me money? Well, the reality of it is, is, is that I have a family, I have obligations, I have responsibilities, and truthfully, I'm not really much good to people if I'm not making an income. Because after all, that's part of what I feel called to do is help other people generate income from their creative gifts. So therein lies the problem. How do we reconcile those two areas? Well, I think the first step is to first acknowledge them. To first acknowledge that there is a category of money-making business type uh, functions and roles and things that you should be doing. And then there's that, that heart, there's that that vision, that passion that is inside of you that you could do it for free all day long just because you love it that much. So the first thing is to understand those two categories that exist inside of you. And that's incredibly important because they both are important. But if you get those out of order and you're unsure where they belong and how they fit in your life, you're going to be extremely frustrated and chances are you're never actually going to see any progress in either of them. And trust me from experience, this is 100% true. I think there's a proverb or some sort of saying that says the man that chases two rabbits catches none. And that's really the truth is that if you try to chase both of those equally, you're going to wind up catching none of them. So how do you actually pay attention to both those things and actually fulfill the creative call that God has on your life? Because listen, those desires, those things that you want to do are things that God placed inside of you. They have a purpose. They have a specific reason through this earth. And let me even go one step further and say this. There are specific people that God created to be able to connect, to be able to be attracted to those things inside of you. But it's just a matter of how do we actually accomplish them. All right, so I'm gonna give you a method on what you should actually be focusing on right now and how you can get the clarity to move forward and make sure that you fulfill both of those things in your life. All right, so the first things first is we need to actually give these two categories a name. And what I'm gonna call the business opportunity, the one where you're just growing and you're just creating income and doing things like that, we're gonna call that the mission. That's your mission, okay? That's your mission right now. And I'll break down a little further on some of the components that the mission does, but for right now, let's just call that the mission. Then you have the vision, and the vision is where you wanna end up, what you wanna do with your life. Ultimately, at the end of it, when it's all said and done, what you wanna be known for, what you wanna accomplish, the legacy, the purpose that you believe that you were created to fulfill in this earth, that's the vision, okay? So we have the mission and we have the vision. 
Now, what we need to do is we need to get to a place where we can align both the mission and the vision together so that when we work on one, we're effectively working on the other. Sometimes we can get too far apart where our mission is completely different than our vision. And when we're working on our mission, it's not doing anything that is helping to contribute to our overall vision for our life. And therefore, in many instances, can really be a waste or just be a distraction from where we're actually trying to go. So you need to understand, first of all, what is your mission? What is your mission right now? What are the gifts, the tools, the abilities, the resources that God has given you right now that will help you accomplish your vision? Now, when you think about your vision, you actually need to think about it in stages. It's not something that is just you need to, there's one vision and you need to just accomplish it all. It is a progression that will allow you to, to take steps towards where you want to actually go. So for example, for me, I would tell you this, my vision as a kingdom creative is to build an agency, to build a network that is helping Christian creative entrepreneurs create a successful business doing what it is that they feel that they were called to do. Now that's a big vision that incorporates a lot of different people groups. What kind of creatives? Is it speaking? Is it painting? Is it artists? Is it music? Is it videographers, photographers, writers? bloggers. There are so many different ways that you can actually slice that up. So that vision is incredibly big. So right now, what I need to do is understand stage one. I'm going to help content creators. I'm going to specifically help videographers. Okay. I'm going to first start out with them stage one in my vision. What is my mission right now? My mission is to develop video marketing and video services as a business to be able to grow that business. Now, those are both aligned and you can see that because as I grow my video business and I understand video marketing, I will then be able to help the kingdom creatives that are video uh, entrepreneurs themselves. I will help them build their business as well. I will share things that I'm learning in my business that will relate to other kingdom creatives who are also who also have video or filmmaking businesses. So you see, that's the first step is getting those two to align in a common vein but it does so in stages. So you need to understand there's stages to it. We don't just get to jump right in and do everything it is that we were created to do. There's stages, there's levels to it, the whole nine, you get the picture, okay? So that's, that's what I want to first distinguish is, is that you need to align your mission and your vision so that when you work on one, it's effectively working on the other. And listen, while that sounds easy, it can be incredibly complicated to think through that process. Trust me, I know it flip flops and one minute you're like, well, I want to do this. And the next minute you were like, I want to do this. So it can be incredibly confusing to work through those two, but you need to get those in alignment. That is step number one. Okay. Some important things that you need to understand about your mission. Your mission does three things for your vision. It helps to fund your vision. It helps to feel your vision. And ultimately it helps to fulfill your vision. Now I'm going to break those down and I'm going to explain what I mean by this. But the mission part is the part that we often neglect. That's what the Bible would refer to as your land. You have to work your land. That is what has been given to you. That is what you have. That what is the gifts and the talents and the abilities that you have available to you right now. What do you have in your reach? What has God given you? Do you have a gift to communicate? Do you have an influence in a local church? Do you have uh, a gift to create music? What is the resources that you have right now? Those would align with your mission. And this is extremely important. One of the reasons why we get so frustrated, we feel so unfulfilled is because many of us just want to start living out our vision. We just want to skip all of those steps and just start living out our vision. And if we listen to many marketers, they will tell you, hey, that's exactly what you can do. But the reality of it is it's not that simple. There's a process to it. And this is exactly why most people aren't doing it. All right. So what you need to understand is that there are levels to it. The vision is always going to be more sexy. The vision is always going to be more of what we want to spend our time doing. The mission is boring. It's day in, it's day out. It's repetitive. It's dealing with rejection. It's dealing with problems. In many cases, it could be mind numbing. It's incredibly difficult day in and day out type of discipline. The vision is, is what we want to do. It's what we were created to do. We're so excited about it. It's all we want to do. But listen, if you don't have the mission dialed in, you're not going to be able to fulfill your vision. All right. So let's go back to the three things that your mission should be accomplishing. Okay. So the first thing is it helps to fund your vision. Now, obviously we understand what that means. It helps to create income, to be able to pour into your vision. 
But going a little deeper, what I mean is, is that when you're not worried about finances, it alleviates stress. When you don't have stress, you have more creativity. When you have more creativity, you're actually able to solve problems better in your life, in your vision for the people that you're trying to serve. So it puts you in a much better position to actually fulfill your vision because it's funding you in a way that is relieving stress. The second thing that it does is it provides options. There's more options when you have more resources. You can spend money to run some ads, you can create a new website, you can create a product, you can spend some money in, in connecting with people, you can do interviews with people that you may have to pay. You can do a lot more things when you have a financial backing. So it creates options for you to grow your business and also to grow your vision or grow towards your vision or do things that help you to get more clarity in your vision. All right, so it funds your vision. The second thing that a mission does is it fuels your vision. Okay, so what do I mean by this? It motivates you. When you're developing your mission and you're doing your work and you're growing in these areas, it is going to motivate you out of the success that you're having, out of the breakthrough that you're having to share those, to contribute, to, to do the other things over here that maybe you don't make money, but you're motivated over here because your business is in order. Your mission is in order. You're doing what you're supposed to do. You're faithful with what God's given you. So therefore you're motivated to actually accomplish your vision and you're gonna start doing it naturally. Okay, another way that it fuels your vision is it attracts resources. You know, listen, when people are broke, when people are struggling, when people are, you know, having all of these issues that we have when we're trying to put the cart before the horse, nobody's attracted to that. Nobody wants to come to a person who's struggling and depressed and, and all that and say, hey, let me, let me sow into your business. Hey, let me, I want to invest in what you're doing. Like nobody does that, right? It's when people have momentum. It's when people are going. It's when people, you can see that they're going somewhere. What that does is that attracts resources, that attracts relationships, that attracts money, that attracts pretty much everything that you need to accomplish your vision. So when you're working your mission and you're doing it and you're focused and you're successful in that, that is going to fuel your vision by attracting resources. And so the last thing that working your mission does is it helps to fulfill. It actually helps to bring that vision and make it come to pass in your life. Listen, we know there's tons and tons of scriptures talking about stewardship and talking about being faithful with what we have and what we've been given. And listen, that's a real key. That's a, that's a reality for us. Listen, if God puts something in your heart, yes, he'll bring it to pass, but you got a job to do as well. And that is your mission. So when you're on your mission, when you're doing your mission, that is what God gave you right now, the resources and the things that you have available to you right now. When you are able to work on your mission, it will help to fulfill your vision. It will unlock things. As you continue to grow, you'll get more clarity on what you should be doing, how you should be serving people, and the types of product or services that you should be offering to create it a sustainable business. Because at the end of the day, you're gonna to have to ask that question, how am I gonna make money from this? right? What am I going to do to be able to generate an income fulfilling my vision? And listen, there's tons and tons of ways to do it. But as you work your mission, you will get more clarity on the things you want to do and the things you don't want to do. So that's the first thing. It will begin to unlock things that will help you to fulfill your vision. The second way that it will fulfill your vision is it will give definition. It will complete. It will fulfill, right? Think about the word to fulfill is to make complete it will complete your vision. There are certain aspects of your vision that you really don't know yet, that you're never gonna know until you actually are faithful enough in working your mission. Then you'll know a different layer or a different part of your vision is that, you know what? I didn't realize that this was such a big problem or I didn't realize that I can really help these people in this way. You know what I notice? People keep on coming to me for this one thing. Maybe I should actually speak more about that one thing. See, that will begin to complete, that will begin to fulfill your actual vision. Because listen, as much as you think you know what it is that you wanna do and, and all this kind of stuff, listen, you don't. And the way that you figure that out is by being faithful to the mission that God gave you right now. All right, so let's just wrap this all up really quickly. And basically, this is the premise of this whole video. You have an idea of what it is that you wanna do. It's deep in your heart, you feel, so compelled, so passionate about it, but it's not working out. 
and you don't know what the best thing is to do. You don't know where to start. You don't know where to go. You have all these gifts and these talents over here. You don't know what to do with them. You don't know where they fit and you just don't know how to figure it out. I would say this. The first thing you need to do is figure out what your vision is. That's important. The second thing is figure out what your mission is, what you have, what you have in your hand right now, what you can do right now, how you can create income right now, how you can create a business right now, what gift, what talent, what service can you provide that will actually help you to create a sustainable business? Because it is going to be that business that is going to help you fund, fuel, and fulfill that vision. So listen, I hope that gave you some clarity. I hope that gave you an idea of where to get started. If you're anything like myself, I got a million ideas of things that I want to do. I have so many things that I feel passionate about. But the reality of it is the best thing that I can do right now is stay faithful to my mission and make sure that my mission aligns with my vision. Because if you can have those two things in order, listen, you're going to be ahead of a lot of people. You'll be hyper-focused on what it is you're doing and where it is that you're going. And listen, you will get there. I believe in you. I believe in you. Listen, God says in the Bible that you were created to do good work, Ephesians 2.10. He prepared it in advance for you. He'll bring it to pass, but you have to be faithful with what he gave you. I can't stress that enough. You got to be faithful with what he gave you. You got to acknowledge that. Quit looking at trying to get more or trying to get this or trying to get that. Be faithful with what God gave you. Understand what he's called you to do in this world. And I have no doubt that you will be successful. God bless you guys.